So where do you see yourself in this story? And it might surprise you where I see us in this story. Not any of the people. But where I see us in this story is in these water jars. Now these jars have a purpose. They're not to be drinking out of. They are the washing jars. They're set aside for the purpose of the ceremonial cleansing that, by the way, had already taken place before the story begins, before we get into this story. The ceremonial washing has already happened. In fact, that's why they had to fill the jars, right? Already been used. So here's these used pots for the purpose of washing Yet because of Jesus' encounter with them, a radical transformation happens. What was ordinary becomes extraordinary. Now, if I was to ask you, Raise your hand if you feel ordinary, not extraordinary. We would all raise our hands, no doubt about it. But what about your potential? What about the possibility? Do you see the possibility of extraordinary taking place in you and through you? These ordinary washing pots suddenly turned into jars of clay which hold this treasure. Here's what it says in 2 Corinthians 4, 7. Well, let's just look at it. Why don't you open it up? 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Verse 7. But we have... But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God, not from us. You and I are these jars of clay, just like these ordinary washing pots that we see in Cana. Yet when the power is released in us, the ordinary water that was just for the purpose of washing hands, suddenly turns into extraordinary wine that the Lord wants to use for His glory. That's the end of the story in in, in, uh, in Cana. Thus, He thus revealed His glory, and His disciples put their faith in Him. What is the possibility of us ordinary Woodland Park Teller County people having this tremendous encounter and infilling of the Godhead, the Holy Spirit radically converting the ordinary water into extraordinary wine What would the possibilities be? And when you think of the ordinary turning into the extraordinary, what do you think of? I asked my daughter this last night. My my 11-year-old daughter, I said, can you think of of a person that you... Uh, a story that, that you might know about where the ordinary turns into the extraordinary. She said, yeah, Hannah Montana. <laughs> of course she would think that. Now, my first thought was Superman, okay? <laughs> Not Hannah Montana. But the transformation from a bumbling idiot like Clark Kent into an extraordinary superhero like Superman is a tremendous story of the ordinary turning into the extraordinary. You want to throw Miley Cyrus in there? Great. That's cool. 
But think about some of the biblical stories. I mean, David, a shepherd boy, turned into a king. These disciples that cling, begin to cling to Jesus, ordinary fishermen, turned into world changers. You and I are affected today by the gospel of Christ because of these men that decided to follow him on these few days in the beginning of the book of John. For they are the ones that have told us the story, right? World changers. You, this is what God is about. He is about the business of turning the ordinary into the extraordinary. Will we, as regular jars of clay, regular old washing pots, allow ourselves to encounter Him and in so doing, simply say, you do whatever it is you want to do and whatever it is that you want me to do, just tell me. What would the possibilities be? Lord, there, there is a, a long line of stories, a thick, thick book of stories of the ordinary becoming extraordinary. And we, we all in this room have a story coming to mind. It might be someone that we know. It might be a real person. It might just be a, a fictional character. But we understand the concept of the ordinary becoming extraordinary. And even though, Lord, we understand the concept, the truth is we have a hard time believing that that can happen to and through us. That we would have a really hard time seeing ourselves beyond anything just ordinary. Oh, we know you love us. We know that you died for us. We know that you changed us. But, but to think beyond the ordinary for some of us in this room um, is a real challenge. But we see ourselves as these jars of clay, these washing pots, absolutely ordinary items in a house, absolutely ordinary, ordinary items at a party, seemingly completely insignificant. Yet this profound miracle of transformation, of, of conversion, of dramatic change takes place in and through these pots. And I believe that is what you want to do in and through us. So as we have already declared today, we just, we simply, we park ourselves into your care. We put ourselves into your care. We entrust ourselves into your care. And invite you to do your thing. Touch us. Touch us in such a dramatic way that this ordinary turns into the extraordinary. And, is, and in your care, in your hands, you can accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish in us and through us. Impacting impacting the people that are around us, blessing them just like you blessed the master of the banquet with this fresh, new, better wine. Do that in us and through us. Thank you, Lord, for the new wine that you brought into this world, this new paradigm, allowing us to experience and encounter you because of your grace and your mercy and the sacrifice that you did, putting yourself on a cross, dying for our sins, overcoming death through your resurrection. You are to be praised for that. 
be glorified in us as you were in this story. Be glorified in us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.